Well, it looks like the NVIDIA RTX 1590 power connector is melting. It's reaching temperatures of a whopping 150 degrees Celsius. And I will link you to this article so you can go over here and check it out. But look at this. We've got melting connectors again. Seriously? So what's the problem here? Well, it's this fancy 12VH PWR connector that is, well, building up a tremendous amount of heat and the connector is actually melting. But the disturbing part of this is this is happening under normal operating conditions, like, for example, playing a game or running a benchmark. Now, keep in mind that 150 degrees Celsius is on the power supply end, which is still extremely disturbing and very, very hot, could lead to a fire. There's no question about that. And close to 90 degrees Celsius on the GPU side. And this was within five minutes. Also, something else that is kind of concerning is the fact of voltage being pushed through specifically two connectors. Apparently, the reports here suggest that two specific wires were carrying over 20 amps each, despite being designed for a maximum of 8 amps. So, of course, if you're pushing 20 amps through what is only designed to handle 8 amps, you're going to overload and you're going to produce a lot of heat and potentially melting, and then that could in turn lead to fire. Now, some might be thinking, well, he did not connect it properly into the video card, but apparently that was addressed, and it's not because of user error. It was apparently connected properly. They used a couple of cables. One of them was a Corsair high-end cable as well. Same temperatures were also recorded with that. So very, very concerning. So we can kind of draw parallels here to the RTX 4090. Remember that video card when it came out first? All kinds of melting issues. So here we go again. And as this article indicates, maybe having a couple of these connectors would be extremely smart because it would actually distribute the load. And that does make a lot of sense and it might mitigate all these overheating problems. So in short, this article reveals a serious design flaw or limitation with the 12VH PWR connector when used with high power GPUs like the RTX 1590. The uneven current distribution can lead to dangerous overheating and melting regardless of user error or cable quality. It doesn't matter if you know it's drawing a tremendous amount of power, it's doing so on one cable. This raises concerns about the long-term reliability of the RTX 5090, which again, remember, is terribly expensive, and potentially other high-power cards using the same connector. What are your thoughts on this?